I'm Bob Silman from uh, the Young and Heart Chorus. My name is Steve Martin and I'm a member of the Young and Heart Chorus. I enjoy the Q&A always after a film. And uh, the, the thing that drives me into, uh, say, another uh, Q&A in, in, with enthusiasm is the fact that people will say, you know, I think I'm going to go home and rethink my life. I'm not too old after I've seen the film. I think I'll go home and do something. And I like that, you know, in terms of the questions and, and the way people approach their lifestyle after they've seen the film. And I'm very thankful that we did the film because it's opened the doors for us. It's like a meteorite just went right across the sky, you know, and, and I'm glad that it's uh, given us the opportunity to uh, be seen and be heard by uh, uh, the public here in the States. Our hopes for the broadcast tonight are that it will do really well for independent lens. I mean, you know, it's a great, you know, independent lens is, is, is it's an honor to be on independent lens and to be on PBS. And uh, so, and you know, I, I hope it does really, really well. And I hope people watch it more than they watch American Idol, because I think the thing about the young at heart that I think people appreciate is that it's about it's about real instead of about being reality um, TV. And, uh, and I, I think that's that, that people get a lot out of watching this film that's based on, on, on just people being who they are as, about, as opposed to people trying to be somebody that the American public will embrace. And my hope for the film is uh, not only what it will mean for your network, uh, but what it will mean for the elderly and uh, the fact that uh, they should take and, and look at themselves and, uh, and possibly uh, get up off of that couch and get up off of that chair and, uh, and, and do something with themselves. You know, don't quit on life. Uh, be active, be something. And, uh, and the younger people look, possibly look at the elderly with a little different look. You know, don't throw us in a dump and in a trash heap and, heap and stuff like that. You know, that uh, we have a few miles left on us. You know, we're not tread bare yet like an old tire. I so think don't any young person to try to throw you in a dump with the big problems. You know, so. <laughs> you know, Talk about an ex Marine here, you know. <laughs> you know, a lot of times people try to create these intergenerational events and they feel so forced and it's, it's like, it's like uh, pulling teeth and it's like. This wasn't like that at all. It was it was really an honest exchange, and uh, the kids were just as interested as the senior citizens in you know what our process was. And actually, the kids even gave us a list of songs that we're supposed to start working on. So, and I think the the winner of the group that they gave us has to be um, "Welcome to the Jungle" by Guns N' Roses. So that's a, that's 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 where that's where we're headed next. Let's go to the jungle, baby. Oh, you know the song? <laughs> no. <laughs>